So I'm gonna go ahead and go eat real quick. I was already made my breakfast, so I'm just gonna show you what I got. But um, I'm happy that this year I look a lot better at 165 than I did last year. So um, if you guys can, if you want, you can go back and watch like the uh, Ripped Responsibility series and the Summer Shredding series, season one, and you'll notice like. I feel like at this condition, I was a little bit lower body weight, so I just feel like I definitely put on a few pounds of muscle, so I'm very happy about that. But um, for breakfast, I have one scoop of Cellicore Cinnamon Swirl Protein. Uh, so you can use mine to just kind of cut on any Cellicore products, Super HD, uh, C4, I know Extreme, and uh, that's really all I take. Sometimes I'll take the Alpha Aminos or the Core Performance BCA, so I don't really recommend those to many people. Uh, so one scoop of Cellicore Protein. One serving of this white chocolate, uh, wonderful peanut butter. It's pretty good. Um, the macros, it's better like on rice cakes than I have oatmeal over here. But the macros are 14 fat, 11 carb, and 6 protein. So it's a little bit less fat, more carb than like normal peanut butter. Um, and then two packets of oatmeal over here. So a little bit of salt. Uh, put that tablespoon of peanut butter, some butter spray, and some Walden Farms uh, maple or syrup so oh i'm tired guys <laughs> gotta eat and um then i'm gonna go and do some work and i think i'm gonna work out at four o'clock with a friend do some back and uh bicep today got a back and bicep workout Coming to you right now, guys. Rocking my Gymshark Stringer. Going to be in the UK May 14th. Well, I fly out the 14th. Uh, I'll be at Expo 16, 17, 18. I'll be there all three days at the Gymshark booth. Uh, can't wait, guys. So, Gymshark Stringer. Got these Nike Pro Cotton shorts over here. In the green. Got my New Balance Minimus Zero V2s. For some rack pulls that we are warming up on right over here. So. Summer Shredding, Season 2, Episode 18, and I am back with the commentary for you guys. Uh, you're going to be watching some back and bicep footage, and I want to talk about a few things during this commentary. So um, first and foremost, you're seeing 405 pounds for a few sets of 8 to 10 reps on the rack pulls. Uh, I'm really liking these rack pulls for my back workouts. Probably going to be incorporating them a little bit more um, as I continue prepping. So not prepping, um, dieting down for summer shredding. But uh, also, guys, I want to talk to you real quick about my camera. Uh, a lot of you have been noticing the camera quality, especially in low light and um, darker light, has not been um, ideal, to say the least, uh, in my last few videos, even if you watch it in 1080p. Uh, I'm just really not satisfied with the quality of this camera. So I'm going to get this problem resolved this week. Uh, so either I'm going to keep this camera and uh, get the problem fixed, which I kind of doubt because I've been trying to fix it for about two weeks now, um, or I'll be returning it for a Canon DSLR. So, um, and just kind of keep a little Sony Handycam that I used to use or just use my phone, my iPhone for um, blogging situations that I can't pull out the DSLR. But for the most part, I have my own gym and everything. So using a DSLR shouldn't be that much of an issue. Um, so yeah, that'll be fixed this week. You'll probably see about one or two more episodes with the same quality uh, before seeing the new quality. So, because I've recorded a few more days, obviously. But uh, moved on to some pull-ups. So as you can see here, getting pretty lean. The body weight in these clips, the lowest weigh-in I've had is 165 pounds even, which was actually uh, the beginning of this episode. So uh, kind of hovering between 165 and 167-ish, 167.5 pounds. Um, I like to do that instead of just giving you guys a set weight because realistically you do fluctuate a lot um, when you're dieting or bulking up or whatever. But here you are seeing my variation of dumbbell cheat girls. So uh, cheat curls, Arnold was a huge fan of them. Uh, he mainly did barbell of, of what I know. I'm sure he did dumbbell too. But uh, this is like these are 60 pound dumbbells going for like four to five reps just on each arm. I am using a sway to get them up, but I'm trying to keep my back, um, you know, 
pretty perpendicular. I'm, I'm obviously swinging forward, but try not to lean too far back. Just for one set, uh, I think it's an exercise that can be incorporated if you do it correctly. Um, and then, of course, some more straight sets like you're seeing here. So here I'm keeping my wrists completely supinated facing up. And uh, for me, I just feel like it keeps a little bit more tension on the bicep. Obviously, the rotation is another key function in the bicep, which I'm sure to do. Um, I like to do palm facing up, so supinated, also a rotation in like a hammer or, or something in neutral or pronated position for biceps. So here's a pronated position curl. Um, you also saw some seated uh, they're not steel rows, but they're just kind of like straddling an incline bench uh, kind of rows. And I really like them because as opposed to dumbbell rows, I feel like it takes all the momentum out and it's literally just your back working. So um, also, guys, I want to talk to you real quick about an ab workout that I did. Very simple, very effective and short and sweet. So you see there's some leg raises, uh, 15 reps, and then you do 15 reps of these rope uh curls and then you do 15 rotations with the 25 pound plate so try that out guys uh do like five sets and as always you can visit my website christianusemind.com for apparel and uh to check out my online personal training services thank you So fucking annoyed with you. I was annoyed with you walking out here, and then you fucking did that. Oh. Having some oatmeal and some egg white, liquid with egg whites, so one whole egg. Um, five servings of liquid egg whites, one whole egg, and over here we have half a serving of peanut butter, four packets of instant oatmeal, and uh, Walden Farms and butter spray. So going to have this, and today is going to be a crazy busy day, so we will take you along with us. Alright guys, first errand of the day is running to the bank. So, that's what we're about to do. Here at Bed Bath & Beyond, about to do some more apartment shopping. We need silverware and sheets for our new Tempur-Pedic mattress we just got. What's good YouTube? We're here outside of Bed Bath & Beyond. Just got done getting some more stuff for the apartment. I'm going to do a really quick run through of what we got. First thing is this uh, 50 liter trash can. Really nice stainless steel. It's going to match the appliances and the granite countertops and the wood and everything really nicely. Um, I figure if you're going to have a trash can like in the kitchen because it's a one bedroom apartment, uh, you should have a nice trash can. Uh, next thing is this um, set. Just solid white. Really nice. Kind of like wrinkly. Not wrinkly, but like rippled as you can see. Really clean. Um, a new cutting board, really nice cutting butcher's board. Block. I like what? Butcher's block. Butcher's block. And I like it because it's got the uh, these wood things. So you can like actually keep it on the counter. You don't have to like take it out. I'm partially taking this out so I can reorganize and try to fit that trash in here. Um, I got like a slap chop to cut my vegetables for my scrambled eggs, which is really going to be convenient. Uh, some new silverware. Some silverware, a little dishwashing thing. Keep in mind, we already have a lot of stuff, guys. This is kind of like accessories. Um, waffle maker. Because Nikki wanted a waffle maker. Protein waffles. Protein I mean, waffles. Yeah, protein. I just have freaking egg whites every day for egg beaters. Um, got some Tupperware over here. Some good ceiling Tupperware. Tupperware, however you want to see it. So, what we have to do right now is we actually have to take this trash can out because my car, or it doesn't fit in my car. We should have taken my car now that I think about it. Yeah, probably. Okay, okay so. Let's take it out of the box. This. Look at all that wasted space. We don't need all that shit. Oh. How weird must we look right now in the parking lot? Recording ourselves. 
struggle to fit this trash can into this tiny ass Okay, bit. now, pegging board's gonna go right here. Mattress is gonna go into his lap. Please close, please. Hey, why don't you put it um, sideways? The trash can? Yeah, and put my purse in the front. Yeah, that, that should be. And that's Victory. how you do it. What's up? Okay, now I gotta throw this box away. <laughs>